So in the previous video, we presented the process of creating the virtual tooth setup and aligning the brackets to be perpendicular to the wire based on the virtual tooth setup. And of course, the IBT is created based on the patient's current tooth positions. Another widely accepted process of adding brackets is based on the patient's current tooth position without creating a virtual tooth setup and aligning the brackets to be flush and centered on the tooth. In order to do this, we would go through the process as described in the software previously. We would load the models, we'd segment the teeth, we would trim the models until we get to the stage that we're looking at on the screen now where we're able to reposition the teeth. In this process, in this protocol, we're not going to create a virtual tooth setup. We're not going to move the teeth at all. We're just going to click continue to edit steps without changing the tooth positioning. Now, again, in the edit steps panel that we're looking at now, we're not going to edit the steps because it's not relevant since we didn't move the teeth. We're just going to click add brackets, the radio button on the bottom right we could click the box for design indirect bonding tray and then we're going to continue to add brackets. What we see on screen now is the curve that's going to indicate the general positioning of the brackets that we place. We could move the positioning of the curve by left clicking on the square in the middle and grabbing and dragging. And we could also rotate and pivot the curve by using the rotate widget. We're also able to rotate the jaws by clicking the top right button on the right of the 3D view and clicking left to right and it rotates accordingly. We also have the head on the bottom left where we could click the arrows to rotate. Anyway, once we have the curve in the general positioning, we click add all brackets, select the set of brackets that we are interested in placing and these brackets that appear on the list are distributed by Blue Sky Bio and can be ordered from blueskybio.com and then click Add. Once the brackets appear on screen, we want to align the brackets to the middle of the teeth. We could do this simply by grabbing and dragging the bracket by holding down our left mouse button and dragging the bracket in any direction. We could also use the arrows that appear on the sides of the widget, we could grab any of the large arrows, left click and grab and drag to move the bracket positioning. Once we have the bracket position in the middle of the tooth, we can right click and choose snap to tooth. Snap to tooth will align the bracket to be flush on the tooth as possible. So we'll go from bracket to bracket, we'll click on it, we'll grab and drag, we'll reposition the bracket using the different arrows and widget and once we have the bracket positioned as much as possible in the middle of the tooth then we'll right click and choose snap to tooth and we'll go ahead and repeat this process with the different brackets in future releases of blue sky plan we'll have this process automated but in this current release this is the technique to go ahead and align the brackets to the teeth once we finish the pro once we finish the process for the maxilla, we could go ahead and left click on mandible in the top right. Repeat the process of aligning the curve. Click add all brackets, select the relevant bracket system from the drop down list and just as a side point, if you shift and left click, you could deactivate any tooth or several teeth. So when the brackets are added, the brackets for those teeth will not be added. Holding down the shift and left clicking will reactivate them. Clicking add will add all the brackets and once again we'll go bracket by bracket. We'll position it in the center of the tooth. And then we'll right click and choose snap to tooth. Once we've finished the process, of aligning the brackets to the center of the teeth, we click continue to prepare IBT.